So it's a slow Saturday morning here. Uh, it rained most of the night and it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So really all we got to do is get feeding done and check on everything. Uh, so we thought we'd take a few minutes just to talk to you guys about kind of my background and uh, what I was born doing and what I've done my whole life. So my dad grew up going to uh, his grandfather's house all the time and uh, he had cattle around there and, and raised some cattle so that's where my dad kind of got a passion for the cattle business and uh, after he married my mom they set out. Uh, my dad decided to make that his, his profession. That's how he was going to provide for his family. So he's he's managed Angus ranches my whole life and that's where my brother and I grew up on on Angus ranches and always around cattle. So that's where we got the passion for it and uh, that's where we learned everything. My dad taught us both everything we know and my brother even's taught me a lot. So um, the skills and the passions just been handed down for three generations now. And uh, my brother has some kids, three boys, and they're growing so fast, but they're kind of taking an interest in the cattle business, and hopefully we can guide them and keep it going. Since we've always been in the cattle business, a lot of holidays and uh, different things have been spent, circled around something to do with cattle. We've either had to work cattle the day before Thanksgiving, or give shots to something the day of Christmas or you never really know um, but through it all we've had kind of the backbone or the glue that's held it all together has been my mom she's always taken care of all of us first and she's been a stay-at-home mom forever and uh, she's made sure everybody's clothes are clean she's fed everybody sometimes at one round at six o'clock and dad at ten o'clock or different things but She's always been there for all of us and always kept it all together. So a big thank you to her. Time out. We're always on action, baby. It's a little dry. When I was a little kid, I, I didn't show much interest in the cattle business because I was just around it every day, all day. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't really think that's what I wanted to do. But as I got older into, into middle school and high school, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And uh, the way I learned it, I just I just got out there with Dad and did it. He he never really, if I asked, he would teach me. But you just can't you can't uh, replace doing it yourself. And Dad would always talk me through anything. You know, once I I moved off and was on my own trying to take care of cattle, I could call him anytime, pulling a calf or or anything, just advice. And Dad would always would always walk me through it because he he learned the hard way he learned trial and error so he was always there to tell you what not to do for sure and uh, his guidance has always it's always been appreciated and it's always been heartfelt and uh, there's nobody better at taking care of cattle that I know uh, than dad he's probably one of the best I don't really have one favorite part about taking care of cows uh, I enjoy all of it but uh, it's, it's pretty special when you help deliver a calf or pull a calf. It, it's, it makes you feel good that you might have saved its life. And it's, your adrenaline gets pumping. You want to make sure everybody's okay. Uh, but it's just really rewarding to get that calf out and know you might have saved its life. And then to just watch it grow and know that it, the outcome could have been totally different if you hadn't have done your part. Working on a ranch or a cattle farm is a seven day a week job for sure, but uh, when you enjoy it as much as we do, it, it's really not, it doesn't feel like a job. It doesn't feel like you're going to work. Some days are tough and some days are easier and you just kind of roll with the punches, but it's so routine to us that it, it's, it's part of our lives. You know, when we take a break or go on vacation for a couple days, it, it's weird. Us. I still wake up at six o'clock and ready to go feed cows so it, it just becomes a part of life and you have to love it or it's you don't last you have to like you have to like cattle and like like taking care of them I'm proud of uh, all the information and knowledge that I've gained from my family and I don't claim to know it all but they've taught me a lot and uh, 
I'm really happy that after I married Devin, I get to take that knowledge and share it with Mark and, and my in-laws and uh, we kind of all work together as one family now on different things. You know, the, the semen we use to breed Mark's heifers came from my, the farm that my family works for out of a bull that we own here. And uh, so I just like to spread the knowledge and help educate everybody and it means a lot that I, I've got two awesome sides of a family uh, that are all tied together now. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about anything you want us to, to talk about or if we can help you in any way, explain something a little more, just drop a comment and we'll try to post a video running through all that. Mm -hmm.